The Ministry of Finance presented a request for tax waiver to Parliament on the 28th of January this year. The project is classified by the Ghana Investment Promotion Centre, GIPC, as a strategic investment with due approval from its board. The Finance Committee recommended the approval of the waiver to the House. Dr. Makasibe Eboa is chairman of the committee. Based on the recommendation of the board of GIPC, His Excellency the President has approved the submission to Parliament of the request for waivers presently before us. Minister for Information Kojo Oponkroma further justified the move by government. What your committee discovered is that these tax waivers were granted without recourse to Parliament. These tax waivers were granted without recourse to the constitutional provisions of Article 1742. And in the privilege, in the privilege of this hallowed chamber, I dare say that these waivers are unconstitutional. Yes. It is for that reason that we sought the counsel of the Honorable Attorney General whether it is proper for any president or any minister of finance or any GIPC boss to sit in his office and so motu say that I deem that you qualify, therefore I've granted it to you. A power given to Parliament. And the Attorney General replied and said, no, Parliament must be seized with it to make the determination. That is why we are here today, Mr. Speaker. That is why your committee has had the opportunity to consider for the first time these applications that were hiding under Section 26.4 and were being granted by the executive for the first time, being brought to Parliament for Parliament to make a determination on it. After a period of disagreements over the use of some words in the debate, the Speaker suspended debate on the matter. If you go to page 7 of the report, it says that, Mr. Speaker, they are initially going for a debt. And Mr. Speaker, this is very important for me. It says that the debt will be replaced by a long-term financing from the African Export Import Bank. The board of the African Export Import Bank, Mr. Speaker, was said to have already passed a resolution approving of the transaction. The chairman is telling us that the board of this bank is said to have approved of that facility. What it means is that, Mr. Speaker, the success of this project hinges on this resolution. Mr. Speaker, the critical question is that where is that critical resolution from the board to convince us that this is indeed a legitimate project? Mr. Speaker, you cannot catch a bag, deflock it, take off the feathers of the bag, and present it to the right honorable Mike Okwe, the distinguished speaker, and ask him that what bag is this? Mr. Speaker, that is tantamount. That is tantamount. Let, let the speaker finish. Thank you very much, Mr. Right, speaker. And so this critical condition, Mr. Speaker, has not been met. This the, the debate will, will start, stand down. Honorable minority, majority leader, do you have any other business before us? Still in the house, Boga Central MP Isaac Adongo indicated he will be taking his lectures on the economy soon to countries outside Ghana. He spoke during the presentation of an award to him by Rectitude International as the most influential economist in Parliament. Once the Vice President spoke recently about the performance of the economy, I have not spoken. And I have done that deliberately because the aim is to get feedback from the people of Ghana and to, understand, to see how people really uh, uh, appreciate the kind of delivery that was made and to look inward to see what is it that is lacking in the discourse and to fill that void. And so in the next couple of days, my role will be to fill that void. Um, beyond filling that void, I also intend to carry this beyond the shores of Ghana. And so very soon you would hear that I am somewhere in the U.S. talking about the economy of Ghana. Uh, and that is just to make sure that the Ghanaian that lives outside of this, of this country has a fair view of what is happening in our country. And I do that as a national service, and I do that as a job that I love to do. So it's still quite unclear why the Speaker um, decided to suspend the debate, which was in full force over the um, granting of some tax waiver to the Pullman Airport City Accra Hotel, uh, amounting to some $23 million, which was under consideration today. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Duke Mentopoko for City News.